Okay, here's an old radio for the car. And uh, let's see if it's still working. Of course, it's a fake one. But it has a cassette player, which I'm not going to try now. It has radio and it has also a CD input. So I can use a 3.5 millimeter input. And let's see whether this thing is still working or not, because it's ancient. Okay, and that's the box. That's the unit itself. It has three buttons here. That's the volume, balance and tone. That's for the frequency of the radio. To eject the cassette, which I'm not going to try right now. Read forward, read backward, something like that, or fast forward. That's the power on off button. And some other buttons. And of course the input for the audio. This is the description. 12 volts DC and the exterior is the negative. Receiving blah, 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 outlet. The right speaker is the gray cable and it has some cables here in the back. So that's for one of the speakers. Okay, I already have a crocodile connector there. Croc. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that's for one of the speakers. The left speaker is the green. That's another one. And the speaker common, that's the black. And that's here. So that will be the negative or common. Okay, and the power is the red. And the exterior, the case, is the negative. This is the positive. Okay, so let's try to connect it. This is a large speaker. I can connect it to that one also. And let's use this adapter set to 12 volts DC. Interestingly, this thing is working with some distortions even with 3 volts DC instead of 12. So it's working even here at 3. Some with distortions appear there. At 4.5 it's pretty okay and at the rest of the voltages it sounds the same. So let's plug that in. And here we have the 12 volts DC. Let's connect that power. Let's say that this crocodile. Let's connect it to the red. That's the positive. Okay. Let's connect the negative to the power source. And in the end I will connect it to the exterior to the box itself. Now let's connect the speaker. There's an old speaker. 3 watts, 4 ohms. Okay, and the two connectors. Two wires. Okay, so one of the wires. Right speaker, grey. Okay, so let's get the grey. It already has a crocodile connector. Okay, and the other speaker from the green to, let's say, this one. This also has two connectors, that's a large speaker. Okay, let's connect the common speaker common, that's the black, which is this one. Let's connect this one to one of the speakers. Okay, and the same thing to the other speaker. The other speaker, this one also needs a minus or ground. Okay, so the minus and plus, okay, it's AC, so it's not minus and plus, but let's call it that way. It's connected to this one, a minus and plus is connected to the large speaker, a positive and the ground. Okay, the plus is connected to the red cable of the unit, and the minus of the unit is here. I will connect it to, let's say, here. Okay, and it has a power on, and we have some sound, so it's working. Okay, the first button, potentiometer, that's the volume. Let's plug in the audio cable, so we have some audio signal. Okay, and the other end of the cable, connected to the computer, and I'm going to play a song here. Wow, it's working! It's working! Of course there's a lot of distortion, plus the volume is at the minimum level and it's, it has a significant noise. 
but as you can see it's not too difficult to connect it to connect the cables and play some music and the audio amplifier of this old cassette player is still working I haven't managed to use the radio or the cassette but at least the amplifier is ok I have to raise it a little bit to let the sound escape from the from this large speaker now the sound barely can escape from from the bottom so this is upside down let's place another speaker below it so that the sound can escape so this is the sound with the speaker down and that's the sound with the speaker raised okay so it's not too difficult to make an old cassette player play some music of course if I remove the power nothing is working touch it there and it's working again ok the music is playing let's reduce the volume a little bit and notice that after I reduce the voltage from 12 volts to lower 9, 7, 6 and 4.5 the the cassette player is maintaining the audio level this is the 12 volts this is 9 volts the LED dropped a little bit but the volume didn't this is 7.5 this is 6 volts this is 4.5 and that's the 3 volts at 3 volts it has some distortions and at 1.5 it turns off almost it's still working at 1.5 volts 1.5 volts Let's measure the power consumption also, put it to amps, move it that there. Ok, so let's connect it into series with the radio. And the power consumption is around 100 milliamps. It was around 500 milliamps at 12 volts. 